Hello, and welcome to literally 9-11. 9045, but still. So, uh, the game crashed. Oh, sorry, the game didn't crash last, um, I tried, I recorded, uh, and then, I, it's not so much the game crash as the, uh, power crashed. And because the power crashed, uh, you know. That means, uh, the recording, I mean, the recording worked for a little while, but, uh, you know, whatever. I'm, you didn't miss a lot, uh, and you, well, I mean, you didn't miss anything. You're gonna see it. Uh, but. some weirdness happening. Okay. What, what, what is being made? Okay. We don't need more of this. We... Okay. Right, we are getting a ton of naval XP because we're training... A... Whoa, that's 2.4... Yeah, okay. We're getting an absurd amount of naval XP. We're uh, planning our operation to attack Somalia. We are remembering at... to shift click. Boom. And besides that, uh, yeah, we were just doing a bunch of researchy stuff. Okay, so dual fortress battery. Once we research this, we will be able to make advanced destroyers. And that will be wonderful. That will be so cool. Um, that will be great. All right, Pakistan asked for stuff. Do I want to... Okay. Give them armor welding, great sea keeping, vertical integration, vertical integration, support. I mean, literally, vertical integration. Space efficient design. All right, so this is for fighters. Speed production, agility. Yeah, let's do more age agility. We're waiting and we're waiting. Look how much XP we're gaining so fast. Cool stuff. Eventually, Nepal will be ours. Okay, so I think our current plan is to hit Mozambique, hit South Africa, um, We need to do this. I don't think it's going to matter, but, you know, maybe things will work out differently than the last time.
And that's it. That's their army. War took a week. Terrifying. Okay, we have everything we need up here. How are we doing in this department? Alright. That's the ball game! Question is it better to launch the naval invasion? I think it's better to launch the naval invasion from India? Realistically? <laughs> Lightning outside, I'm just like Man, it would rule if I didn't lose uh electrical power. That'd be so good. If I could like have electrical power and then not lose it. I'm like way overthinking it, but part of the fun of this game is overthinking it. Then we're gonna take a risk. Why take a risk? There we go. Somalia's capitulated. Rip, ripperoni, pepperoni. I think we maybe let Ethiopia take this. Sure, why not? Eh, or maybe not. There we go. They don't have any boats, do they? They do not. Transamor. Oh, interesting. Justifying against Siberia. They're not going to do anything about that. Like, it doesn't matter. And then order you to just chill, bro. There we go. Let us decide the fate of Somalia. Oh boy. Create a loyal Somalia. Yeah, this isn't core as the issue. And then we will return Ethiopian land. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Too late, nerd. A 
Prosperity ship, prosperity ship. Prosperity ship. Okay. Ah, uh, man, it is storming. Here you go, bud. Sure, why not? Yeah. Sure, interest specialist. I think it's actually probably not a good idea to do that. Okay, so this is our fighter design. Air attack, ground attack. Yeah, air attack. Welcome to the party, fool. I think we have everything we need. Let us get the thing we should have gotten forever ago. And then, oh yes, what this means... is we can design ourselves a destroyer hall. Even got that weather penalty. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna go dual purpose battery. So the dual purpose battery is nice because it means we do not need to get as much dedicated anti-air. We'll make it slightly weaker at any air. It'll make it substantially stronger with light attack, however. We're going to grab sonar and a radar. Torpedo launchers. Yeah, we're gonna name these things after mountains. And then we're gonna go on to battle destroyers. And then we're Probably get better spotting ships. Death ball one, death ball two, death ball three, death ball four. How's our tech? Yeah, we have modern aircraft catapult. After that, I don't think we're gonna have a ton that we need to do. We can't do for strike carrier stuff. can probably just make up like a super battleship now he 
increased surface visibility. Huh. Actually, I think... Yeah, this is just, like, better to have Battleship Armor 3. Fire Control 5. Oh. Incredible anti-air. Incredible heavy battery bonuses. There's an argument for, like, not spamming heavy batteries too much. Yeah, we don't need detection. Yeah, the heavy attack here is not absurd. This gives a slightly, like, decent anti-air. Hmm. And it keeps her speed, like, tolerable. Max speed, down. Can we do this? Sure. I'm going to make one of these each. And each death ball gets one. Torpedo cruisers. I don't think it really matters. This is cruisers. Let's go with fast tank design. just want better reliability. That just sounds good. Be 
You almost have nukes. That's nice. This is nice because it gives us more factories. ABC protection system, huh? Wait, what a nuclear turbojet engine? Designer note! Sorry, designer hint. Wait, what? <laughs> These engines will make your aircraft extremely expensive to build. Uh, but when combined with range extending equipment, you'll be able to strike the world from their home base. Use it your own risk. Boy, that's dumb. For obvious reasons, only a few airframes were ever built before being superseded in their nuclear deterrent role by the adoption of intercontinental ballistic crystals by major powers. I didn't even know that was a thing, and I'm still not sure it's a thing. Alright, we need a research radar. What the heck am I get that 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 Huh I literally didn't know this was a thing. Anyways, we can get We're beginning to break into the advanced technologies. Oh yeah, I'm like, where did my army go? And the answer is they went over here. I don't like how rainy it is outside. It is deeply threatening. Okay, so we've gotten to level 10, the Osaka Army Arsenal. Specialize in anti-air, specialize in anti-tank, specialize in artillery. So probably artillery, but how much heart attack and how much breakthrough does, does my normal gun have? Okay. That... Bonus to breakthrough might be nice. It'll mean I take less casualties. Eh, 5% is not much. Doubling the heart attack is basically meaningless. But... Uh, yeah, I think this is right. What I think I start want to start doing is well, first I want to take over Nepal, and then I want to start like encouraging naval investment because it'll mean more navy for my squads. Hey, it's Torpedo Cruiser. Join Death Ball 3. Uh, 
Interesting. Yeah. How how much nuke progress? Thirty six days. Okay, we're getting nuked slowly. We also don't have literally do not have the technology to deploy them, which is like comedy gold. But you know, it's not like we can't build that up. Eventually, we probably want tank destroyers. That's not worth it. You know what? It probably is. Uh, we don't even need that. We don't need that either. That we do need. I'm just looking for upgradables. Alright, I... That is going to be the end of this episode. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.